Welcome human friends, come on in, pull up a stack of old books and sit down here in the Library of Horror Hotel. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, just thinking as I'm watching the, the flame here, looking at the, the burning candle got me to thinking about uh, how matchbooks were always a traditional collectible. And uh, when people would travel, they would collect matchbooks because that was just a thing. Everybody had uh, custom printed matchbooks that they gave out. So every, you know, hotel and lounge and restaurant and, uh, well, any kind of business really, every uh, insurance man or, or uh, uh, shoe salesman or dentist or fish blower or uh, all, all those uh, people would, would give out. Uh, you know, every politician also would have like matchbook with their name or their logo or something on it. And I got to just thinking, just now I'm thinking, how come I never did uh, matchbooks uh, as any sort of, uh, you know, uh, as a, a collectible, uh, like either, uh, you know, Dr. Lady, uh, late Dr. Lady show matchbook or a horror hotel matchbook or some such thing. But then, you know, almost as soon as it occurred to me, I realized um, happily that um, the kind of people who are my friends probably should not in any way be encouraged to start fires. But uh, here's a great mask recommendation. Now this one comes from Death Studios and the last time I checked you could still order it from the Death Studios website at a cost I believe of $80, $80 maybe $85. Don't hold me to that. It was $80 last time I checked but uh, it, may, it may go up because these things happen in the world of latex. However, Look at this monstrosity here, one of probably one of the coolest uh, sculptures uh, in the entire Death Studio lineup. This is Scream Queen with Cataracts. Yeah, that's a lot of words, but uh, there are different versions of this same mask which came out in the 2011-2012 uh, season. There are various uh, versions and variations available. Uh, green, green skin, black hair, different kind of eyes and so forth. But the one I recommend to you, my fellow uh, collector and monster friend, I recommend this version which is called Scream Queen with Cataracts. Why is that? Why do I prefer it to the other versions? Because the other versions are great too. They're the same amazing sculpture which is just slopping over with personality and attitude and life but this particular version is my favorite because it looks the most like its cinematic inspiration, which is Mrs. Slides. Really, William Castle, Mrs. Slides? Because she slides across the set in the movie? Is that the... All right. Um, Mrs. Slides, as portrayed by someone named Leona Anderson in the 1959 uh, William Castle uh, cheap scare extravaganza, House on Haunted Hill. And if you ever saw House on Haunted Hill, one thing you may remember that really scared the saliva out of everybody, uh, young and old alike really, was this really scary scene of the creepy old lady with the dead eyes and she kind of comes floating out of the shadows and she's got her hands up like this and, and she just, uh, you know, scares the bejabbers out of everybody. And it's, it's, it's a great scene, it's super creepy, it definitely, I'm sure it sent people to bed with nightmares for years and years and years, and, uh, you know, scared everybody very efficiently and effectively. But it's still probably one of the all-time dumbest cheap scares in cinema history, because you see this apparition of this creepy old lady, and she, she floats, and she's got this expression with this big nasty grin and she's got her hands up like she's gonna kill somebody and then uh, a bit later Vincent Price says oh that's the caretaker she's blind only thing wrong with that of course is who would hire a blind caretaker although uh, looking around my house you might assume that I too had hired a blind caretaker a blind cleaning lady not not one of the best um, uh, uh, choices to hire a blind cleaning lady. But anyway, a uh, very scary scene in the movie, whether it makes any sense or not. And this uh, wonderful rendition of it, sculpted by John Smith. No, not the one from, uh, from Pocahontas. Not, this is a different John Smith, came a bit later. Wonderful sculptor, very, very talented. And once again, he has nailed it with magnificent detail and a very nicely uh, organic flow going on with the, the uh, wrinkles and the tendons and so forth being pulled and very realistic 
and uh, typical high death studios quality pretty nice casting pretty nice paint job nice glossy teeth and again the dead eyes you can get this with the eyes painted like you know just normal looking eyeballs but I like the blind cataract eyes because that's how uh, she looks in the movie now if you want it to look a little more like in the movie you might fluff the hair up more than this because her hair is a little more messy like a traditional witch in the film so uh, yeah, you might make it a little messier if you like but anyway what a tremendously scary creepy head to have on a dummy at Halloween you know if you run out of candy folks if it's Halloween and you run out of candy uh, put a dummy on uh, the front porch and put this mask on it and the kids won't come up to your porch they won't come near it so you won't know or they won't know rather that you've run out of candy you see because they won't want to get close enough to this to ask for any because this is a really scary witch right here sculpted by John Smith for Death Studios and until next time well as they used to say see you in the funny papers I don't know why they said that or as we say today see you at the next mask fest <laughs>